Hello everybody, this is Team UPNC and our team's research topic is stylized meme generator with captions. We want to introduce our work based on six parts. For starters, have you thought about changing different style for a picture like this sea total picture? You want to add some animated sea with style to the background, and the combined picture is like this. Beyond generic pictures, in the contemporary society, a special kind of picture called meme is becoming one of the most imperative social tools connecting people's relationships and community feelings. So we are considering change meme style and add captions for the style as means. Approach we try to tackle these problems include a neural algorithm of for artistic style, perpetual losses for real-time style transfer and super resolution, meta networks for neuron style transfer, and the data set we have is 20,000 images in MS Coco training set and 80,000 images in the test set of WikiArts. The model is to do the feature extraction is VGG19. More details about general stylized means are as follows. So for a general stylized image, we have considered three scenarios of stylized image and focus on the first two. Now let's imagine that our customer has uploaded two images, one content image and one style image. We use VGG19 to extract both features and in each iteration to add some new style to the content image to minimize the total loss. And 20 seconds later, it looks nice, but our users will be so patient if they have multiple content images to stylize. So we should not transform that for a specific style and use an eye to stylize any given content image. Keep down sample and use residual blocks to add style to the input image and add sample to retrieve it. Now it takes less than one second for users to get a stylized image for his style. But what if our user wants to use their own style? Then they will have to wait two hours to train the net. Or we can train another meta net to generate weights for the transform net and then use net to upload a stylized image. So the key is how do we define our loss function? The loss function, we have two major parts, content loss and the style loss. The major mechanism is presented by the graph. So I want to uh, specifically introduce the content loss. The content loss it's simple. Feed in the two image, one original, one transfer into the VG net, take the main square loss of the two output, and we sum that. Second, it's style loss. Compared to the content loss, it's involving. Again, feeding the transform image and style loss. But this time, we transform intermediate layers to the VGG network. For each intermediate layers, take the gram matrix, then taking the difference. Then we sum up as a weighted sum for these four um, layers. This is style. After experiment, we find that the output of the transformed image is has a lot of noise and other flow. So we try to add the total variation. So this is total variation for our laws. It acts like the regularization. Um, the main purpose is the noise and the image is smooth. So this will uh, three combines to our loss function. So we want to present our uh, results and discussion. There are examples generated by our model which are perfect. We can keep the objects in the content picture while being stylized nicely. But we also find our model may generate unexpected results, like the above pictures. The objects are blurred and the style is also weird. There may exist three, three reasons. The first one is some pictures are not appropriate for providing style features, and the proportion of content and style loss is subjective, subjective choice instead of being adjusted um, automatically. And size of content picture and style picture can also affect the results a lot. And the color caption generation method we are using is creation with RNN, and because of the limited Data set, the performance is bad because it can only generate captions according to the content of our original images. So, in the future, we will explore more caption generating models to find if there is any other ways of capturing the meaning of styles and converting it to caption. Furthermore, we will also find how to avoid the impact of feature size on the model outputs. Improving the model to fit more types of style pictures is also important and necessary. These are references related to our work until now, and thanks for your listening. If you are interested about our project, we can discuss it later. Thank you.